Hey guys, what's up? Denise Salcedo here with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are in Hollywood for the premiere of Big Kill. Right? Right. Like in front perfect. of the camera. Yes, right in front. It's, <laughs> it's perfectly aimed. I know about that. It's taken me 30 years in the business to know in front of the camera. Okay. That's what I was going to say. 30 years in the business, you've done so many, so many projects, so many credits to your name. I want to know, how does Big Kill, I guess, stand along with all of the rest of them? Uh, you know, it's it's another one of those projects that... that uh, was an opportunity to support, you know, a young filmmaker, and and to uh, support somebody who I thought was, you know, really really talented. Uh, and Scott Martin wrote a fantastic script. It was fun. It reminded me, you know, uh, of, uh, for lack of a better term, you know, old time westerns, you know, retro westerns. Um, there was, I mean, literally within pages, I was thinking of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And and when I got to Johnny Kane, my role, I was, I was thinking Lee Van Cleef, Charles Bronson, The Magnificent Seven. I mean, there's a a scope and a size, you know, to to this particular western that, uh, you know, I, I had to give him props, you know, not not only for paying homage to those films that came before, but for having the, I don't know, the guts to go and try to make something like that. And uh, uh, I know, you know, he didn't have a lot of money, but he had a lot of talent and he had a lot of enthusiasm and and uh, grit. You know, so I'm always happy to support something like that. Plus, the role was a lot of fun. It was an opportunity me for to you know to flip some things on its head. You know, uh, I'm I'm usually Native American. I'm usually you know the good guy, and in this, I'm uh, the cowboy and I'm the bad guy. You know, but I did grow a Charles Bronson mustache. So. You know, you already have all of this knowledge when it comes to Westerns. I want to know for you, what is the biggest challenge of doing not just a Western, but maybe a period piece in general? You know, it's interesting. I mean, first of all, you, you put yourself uh, into those clothes, as it were, uh, and into that character. And uh, you have to divorce yourself from a very contemporary frame of mind. You know, you have to uh, embrace the worldview of somebody, you know, 150 years ago. And... Uh, uh, not everybody in the industry is cut out to do it. Uh, some actors are, are very, very contemporary. They can't get away from it. They can't get away from their urbanness, you know. And, and um, you can put on the clothes, but there's still a vibe. Uh, there's still something that just doesn't, you know, uh, feel organic to, to the period or to, to the, the locations. Uh, and, I, and I've been fortunate because I've been able to, uh, to do that, you know, whether it's you know, the 1950s or the, uh, the 1880s. Uh, so... Uh, uh, for me, I, I, I feel like it's, it's been a, a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to play as an actor. And uh, uh, Westerns are certainly part and parcel of that. I've done, you know, I don't know, a dozen of them now you know, over the years. And, and uh, it's a genre that I'll go back to time and again because they're morality tales. You know? they're, they're tales about uh, big issues, about, about principle and about courage and about character. And, and that I do like. Is there anything that you do? I mean, now, granted, you've had so much experience with doing the sorts of films, but is there anything that you do to mentally prepare yourself to get you out of the modern mind frame? Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like flipping a switch, really. You know, I mean, I think maybe way back, you know, uh, in, in the Young Guns days, you know, I, I, I kind of had to get out. And the 80s, well, those are hard to get away from. 80s are really hard to get away from. Uh, but, but it's, you know... Studying the character, studying the period, you know, understanding your your place in it, and uh, um, I don't know, ap applying uh, uh, your emotions in a different way, and and then taking a good long hard look in the mirror once you're in wardrobe, going, okay, I know this guy, I know who this is. Perfect. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Take care. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and in the comments, let me know what do you think about the big kill.